Thank you so much for writing into my column, MP4 Love, on Blast Magazine. I really appreciate it. So this is such a common issue when it comes to online dating. How do you know when to take down your profile if you've been dating someone for a while? I mean, that's it's the most confusing, awkward question to address. And it can definitely be an awkward conversation, which I know from experience. Um, and I would say a general rule of thumb is to have at least three months of consistent dating but also make sure that the frequency of that dating is sort of on a steady upward tra trajectory. So if you have started dating and at the beginning it's maybe once or twice a week, by month two it should maybe be two to three times a week and so on and so forth. And really at that point, I think a person can confidently bring up the relationship converse, the dreaded relationship conversation, um, without feeling like they might scare the other person away or feeling too pushy. I know that can be a common concern, especially for women. Um, and I really do think though that far too often a woman gives up all her power and options when she hides or gets rid of her profile prematurely because she already thinks that she's in a relationship or that, she, that the guy uh, is on the same page with her in, in that respect. Um, and it's, it's especially if she's sleeping with the guy, she might think that, right? Uh, but then only to see that this guy who she's been sleeping with and dating steadily is still active and really not on the same page at all. And it can be very hurtful, very confusing, and very frustrating. So the question is, why would you take away your options when he has it, okay? However, the difference in your situation is that you actually had a conversation after you say four months of pretty consistent dating, which I think is great, awesome, well done. Um, and then he lied to you. So the bottom line is you have to talk to him about this. And quite frankly, I'm not sure I like the sound of this guy, um, but I think you do need to give him the benefit of the doubt the first time around. Maybe he has a legitimate excuse. Um, I'm not sure how long after you had that conversation with him about your relationship that your friend saw his active profile, um, so that's something to consider. Uh, so what I would suggest is talk to him in a caring, non-judgmental, uh, sort of non-confrontational, non-accusatory way and say, you know, look, my friend noticed your profile, she's on this online dating site, and she noticed that your profile is still active, and she happened to mention it to me, and, you know, given our conversation, my feelings are a little bit hurt, uh, and I just was kind of wanting to see where your head is at. Uh, so something like that, and a good man will really respect that you're looking for honest answers. Have that conversation, and then see what he says or does. Um, more importantly, what he does. Now, if he doesn't take it down and you're okay with that and you just want to keep seeing him to see where it goes, then I'd say renew, renew, renew. Get back on there and keep dating other people. Don't limit yourself to some half-assed guy who doesn't follow through on his words. And always remember, and I think this is one of the most important things about dating, is actions speak louder than words. Always. A man or a woman can tell you something, but if he or she is not following it up with his or her actions, that is a huge red flag. So think about that. I hope my advice helps you. Blast readers, what do you think? Leave your comments below. Um, I'm sure she wants to hear from you and hear different perspectives. And if you have your own dating or relationship questions, send them to me at neely at blastmagazine.com. Until next time. Bye.